Well, hello everyone. My name is Martin Halstead. I'm here today to talk about uh, our product offering called HP GreenLake for Telco Cloud. HP GreenLake for Telco Cloud is an infrastructure focused offering uh, consisting of compute storage, Ethernet switching, as well as virtualization through Red Hat OpenShift. And the idea is that um, telecoms operators consume that infrastructure uh, on, you know, on a per consumption basis. That infrastructure would then be used uh, for deployment of telecoms network functions like, for example, the 5G core. So this is an announcement that we've made this year at uh, Mobile World Congress. Um, what we are also announcing is an extension to that infrastructure as a service offering, which is HP GreenLake for Telco Cloud. And so, you know, the idea is that we take what we have developed for infrastructure and extend that so that it can become a cloud platform for telecoms operators. And that's what I'll discuss today. So telecoms networks typically consist of a series of very distributed data centers which are interconnected via uh, very, very complex transport networks running protocol sets like IPM PLS, VXLAN inside the data centers, series of networks to connect the containers that are running for those virtualized network functions up to the switches, etc. A very complex environment. So when you try as an operator to then go and create a series of services across that uh, heterogeneous multi-vendor infrastructure, you end up then with um, some sort of centralized service management that then needs to go and coordinate the uh, c communications network across the different uh, domain managers such as the transport, the 5G core, the data center, the ra radio access network and essentially stitch together those different domains into a series of services. Again, that's very complex, very difficult to go and tear down as well. So resources end up being stranded because um, it's, it's difficult to reprogram once you've already set a service up. So that is not exactly a dynamic environment or could be called a telco cloud. So as HPE, what we have developed is a telco cloud platform that would sit on top of the existing telecoms network. So the existing telecoms network with all the different protocol sets, the environment, you know, the physical networking environment that the operator has remains in place. What we then have built is a, um, an orchestration based solution that manages the life cycle of the network functions that are deployed on our infrastructure, but also the paths, the user plane paths between those network functions. So if you can manage both the user plane paths as well as the network functions in a dynamic way, all of a sudden you have a telco cloud. So there are four building blocks that we have used uh, to go and create the solution set. Starting with the infrastructure, you know, as I described earlier, the compute storage networking, all of the resources, the physical and virtual resources that exist within that data center infrastructure is uh, exposed then through Kubernetes. So you're capable then of uh, configuring, um, for example, the compute nodes, um, you know, the physical compute uh, through Kubernetes operators for setting BIOS settings, um, changing boot paths, etc. A next tenant of, uh, of our solution is the idea that all traffic that enters the telecoms network um, is converted to SRV6. So if the traffic coming in from the radio access network uh, typically is running GTP or GPRS tunneling protocol, that's converted to SRV6. The same with any IPv4 or IPv6 traffic coming in from um, you know, the mobile edge, um, the Wi-Fi networks, fixed ex echoes, etc. a common user plane for everything. That then massively simplifies how you set up packet forwarding. So um, once you have the traffic converted to SRV6, you then extend that up to the containers. So we have it, uh, partnered with um, a company called Arcus, as well as iSurveillant, such that um, Arcus and the Celium CNI within Kubernetes um, can set up SRV6 based forwarding paths. Our orchestration system then manages the life cycle of those network functions in tandem with the SRV6 based uh, packet forwarding. So those four building blocks essentially create a telco cloud and that's what we show as part of a demo. So we have um, a pair of data centers where all of the networking intelligence uh, is set up on the compute nodes 
So that means then that existing topper rack switching, existing transport networks from whichever vendors are deployed there remain in place. Their only function essentially is to forward IPv6 packets. Obviously, if they support SRV6, then that creates a more enhanced solution, but there is no requirement to run SRV6 end to end. Uh, you know, the transport and topper rack switching just needs to support IPv6. So, um, so what we have then devised is uh, a demonstration which, um, whereby our orchestrator, HP service director, um, will set up a forwarding path from the edge to the core without configuring uh, anything on the actual um, transport or data center networks. Um, it will then tear down that service through software, um, uh, access um, a local data center, um, and then uh, spin up a virtualized firewall, set up the network to connect that firewall using segment routing with IPv6 into an edge gateway, and the traffic is then automatically redirected. The traffic can then be torn down again and um, re-established from edge to core. So an extremely dynamic environment, uh, you know, which you know, in our view matches the, uh, the needs for creating you know, highly dynamic telco clouds in uh, telecoms networks, but with a key requirement of leaving the existing physical infrastructure in place. Thank you.